OK, that's the very latest this morning, those two explosions uh, at Brussels Airport and one at the Metro mm. in Malbec this morning. Um, it's 8.35 and it's time for a break. On today's show, we'll keep you updated with the news from Brussels, obviously. Obviously, we're starting with breaking news this morning. There have been two explosions at Brussels Airport. Smoke has been seen rising from one of the terminal buildings. It's believed the explosions happened near the American Airlines desk. A hospital source is now saying that up to 10 people could be dead and 30 wounded. The city, of course, has been on high alert following the arrest of Paris terrorist suspect Salah Abdesalam in Brussels last week. And there are also reports, as we've heard, of an explosion at a Brussels metro station. Obviously, we're going to be bringing you more on this story as we get it. Let's have a look at today's front pages for you. Humiliation of the Yard, says the Mail. They're reporting the work that you've done is absolutely remarkable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. OK, let's return to Good Morning Britain now for more on that horrific breaking news story in Brussels. Lorraine, thanks very much indeed. At 8.45, the breaking news we are getting from Brussels this morning. Four metro stations, it is reported, believed to be under attack, following two explosions at Brussels Airport in the departure hall. All metro stations we're hearing are now closing this morning in the city. The Belgian Prime Minister has said that they are monitoring the situation minute by minute, top priorities going to the victims. Meanwhile, here, the Prime Minister, David Cameron, says he's shocked and concerned by events in Brussels and said, we will do everything we can to help. Uh, this is a direct feed from a French uh, television station this morning uh, reporting on events in Brussels where we saw those two explosions earlier There's on around 7 o'clock that, that this morning and... Update that ten, at least 10 dead officially now, 10 dead and 30 injured in the initial double explosion inside Brussels airport. There was then reports of a third explosion at a metro station near the EU headquarters in Brussels. There are now unconfirmed reports of three further metro stations which may have come under attack.